G'day, welcome to Epic E-Bikes. Today we've got a Focus Jam 6.9 here. You can see us unbox this bike in another video if you're interested and we're going to do some ride tests on this later as well. Today what we're going to do is we're going to install the unlock chip and show you how that's done. So it simply goes under this cover here. So the first step is to remove the two screws in this cover. Okay, in our previous videos and some other videos you may have seen, people say you need to remove this crank arm to get access to the chip on these models. That turns out not to be the case. So once you remove these two screws, we'll show you how you can take off the cover without removing the crank arm. So what you do is you get your pedal up there, pull the back of the cover off, then you can bring it up over the pedal. Easy as that, no crank tool required. We can access the motor cables under here. Once you have access to the motor cables, simply pull out the speed sensor cable, which is the one with the gray plug. If you pull it out and it's blue or it's black, that's not the right one. So put it back and pull out the gray plug one. Then the four pin connector, it's only one of these. Next, we're gonna get our chip. Here we've got our quick connectors on the end of it already and all we do is get our four pin connected in like that. See, simple as that. The yellow to the yellow, green to the green, black to the black, red to the red. Same with this one. For this one we want red to go to white, black to go to black. And then plug the chip connectors into the motor. You can only plug these in one way. So if they don't go in, flip them over. Okay, once they're plugged in, we'll show you how to test the chip. Okay, in order to test the chip and make sure you've installed it all correctly, double check your wires as I've shown you before and then you can turn the bike on. When you turn it on, both chip lights should light up. Then if you press the walk button to activate the chip. Okay, with the chip on, you can see the red lights flashing. That means the chip's activated. You can press the walk button to turn that off. All right, now the chip's installed, you've checked that it activates correctly. All that's left to do is just tuck it away and put the bash guard on. After this, we'll show you how to turn the chip on up at the control panel. And we'll talk about the countdown that takes place after your ride that helps the chip to not get detected. So you just gotta sort of play around with the wires until you get them in a nice arrangement. So you can get that cover back on. This is my usual method, I'll get the chip to hold the wires up. And then we'll get this cover on. Let's rotate that crank arm back to the front. Push it on over the top of the chip. And then we can put our two bolts in to secure that cover. those are in, you're ready to go. Okay, here we can see the Purion display. If you press the walk button, you can see it says 2.2. This means the chip's activated and ready to go. Now you can ride faster than 25. Press it again. 1.1. This means the chip's deactivated and now you'll be riding in the normal limits where you can only reach 25. So when you finish your ride, you'll notice a countdown will come on the screen. This countdown can take up to a minute to start and what it's doing is it's defeating the Bosch anti-tampering software and it does this to avoid those 504 errors. So you can see it counting down now. 
Once this countdown's complete, it'll say zero, 00 on the display and the bike will be ready to turn off. We find the best method is to simply just leave the bike on at the end of your ride and it will turn off by itself after around 10 minutes sitting idly. You don't have to complete this countdown if you stop at the traffic lights and it starts, it's only at the end of the ride that the countdown must be completed.